pneumonia, a leading cause of death among children under five years of age, causing roughly a million deaths every year worldwide. According to the WHO, only in Sub-Saharan Africa, this severe lung infection kills a half million children under the age of five. However, pneumonia deaths could be averted if caretakers recognize the symptoms and danger signs promptly. This forgotten killer of children kills 24,000 Ugandan kids under the age of five every year, many of whom are misdiagnosed as having malaria. When the children have a fever, or feel unwell, most parents think about malaria. And then it is after that they found there's no evidence of malaria that eventually they think of other causes. So by that time, the children are quite sick when they are brought here. We came to Kampala, where a team of Ugandan engineers has invented a smart e-jacket that diagnoses pneumonia faster than a doctor. I am Brian Chiyawaje, and I'm the chief data scientist with Mama of Medicals. That is a startup that is working on a biomedical smart jacket to diagnose pneumonia in children aged below five years. Uh, within my mind, I always uh, wanted to do something that was unique, something that I would uh, end up being special. Because I would look around my life and I realized things were not moving at a pace which I thought I, they should be moving. And me being in engineering, I thought of uh, if I grew up in that kind of career, I could set up like some of the next leading technologies in, within the country or even the world at large. One of my friends, called Olivia, who happens to be part of the Mama Op, who is the CEO of the Mama Op Medicals, uh, had a grandmother who had died of pneumonia. And the whole reason is that she had been taken across several clinics, several hospitals, which were not offering the best attention. Until her death, that's when the prognosis reports indicated that she had died of a pneumonia. And the challenge there was, why had she been taken across all these clinics, all these hospitals, but they couldn't find out the disease? So that's when we thought of using the same kind of experience we had before, whereby we wanted to put our engineering knowledge into work. We saw it as a challenge that we could try to innovate around, and we sat down together and brainstormed on several things, and that's how we came up with the idea of uh, making up the jacket. And surprisingly enough, we found that actually many more kids, many more children are the ones who die because of pneumonia, simply because they have less immunity and they can easily be killed by any uh, foreign disease which was very fast, so we had to look for a quicker solution to put it on end. And that's how we came up with the whole entire design of having a jacket that can diagnose pneumonia faster than what the doctors in the rural settings can do. This jacket, it helps health workers and doctors in uh, quickly diagnosing pneumonia. And how it does that is that it looks out for the vital signs, for the critical signs of the pneumonia disease from a child. All the person has to do, all the doctor has to do is to get this jacket, tie it around the child's body, and then click the sensor which ignites the process of recording the information from the child's body. Within just a period of one minute, this jacket is able to pick out the vital signs such as the respiratory rate. It's able to sense whether the child has any uh, abnormal lung patterns and after that it sends a final result on a screen before a doctor or health worker. So that way they're able to easily determine whether the child is having a pneumonia or not. And so it kind of easily uh, makes their work very easy and they go on with the rest of the work. They're able to treat the child, they're able to either refer them to another nearby hospital for quick attention. Most of the diagnosis of pneumonia in this country is a clinical one, huh? but uh, I think it requires to be confirmed with a chest X-ray. 
So depending on what time or where you are, because most people live in rural areas and the rural areas may not have ready access to um, just radiographs. And even if they did, the people can, who are there to interpret the radiographs are uh, not that many. So what we think is uh, reliable if we can rely on that technology that helps people to diagnose pneumonia without need of moving to a district hospital, or then get the history done, then get it interpreted. I think that will really help us to save those lives. Thank you.